Now when the harness is fitted correctly, as it is here, if you see, as you see here, it goes across her chest, almost like a straight line here, kinda. And it's pretty tight. Not real, real tight, but tight enough. Fitted correctly, it works the way it's supposed to work. So, as you see now, she's not pulling to get anything. She's not leading in front of me. Because when she pulls and there's tension on the leash, the harness is designed as such, it makes it a little bit uncomfortable when she pulls. So it means it feels uncomfortable to her, so she's not going to do it as much. So, <clears throat> okay, girl. Uh, yeah. Now I walk on my left side here, usually. Uh, and I, the dog is actually walking my speed. Good. And whenever she does tend to walk out in front of me, I just simply walk the other way. You know, in this day and age, uh, it's all about how fast we can get there usually. And if you don't have time to really train or to do these things that I'm uh, going to ask you to do to build a loose leash walk. If you don't have time for that, then walk her pace by all means. You know, walk her pace. Hurry up and get there. That way, you're not really you're not keeping that same routine of pulling, pulling, pulling. Uh, she's been pulling for the probably her whole life. I'm not quite sure of the history, um, but she's she's so used to tension on the leash means going forward. And in our, in our mind, uh, to go, to, to, to take the dog out, it's tension on the leash all the time, so therefore, we don't take her out a lot. Because every time we take her out, it's always a fight. We're always fighting with her. So in turn, she's learned that tension on the leash means going forward, but not anymore. Not here, and not at your house. Uh, another quick thing is that she's not, Loose leash walking in your home, she's not going to do it outside. Of course, she's doing it here. We did a couple practice sessions inside. Um, and she's pretty good. You know, she's not off the you know, wall. I don't know how she acts at the house. Of course, this is a new place. So uh, she's not really going to show me everything in this couple of days that she's here anyway. But you, um, so use the harness everywhere you go. Put the harness on. Uh, if you're not around her and she's unattended, take it off. Um, oh, and by, by the way, your collar, way too loose. I can stick my whole hand in your collar, the leather one with the, the silver like beads on it, way too loose. Um, so I, I, this is the, our collar here, but um, so use the, use the harness. And the, <laughs> probably the reason why it's loose because she pulls a lot, but uh, she's learned that pressure means forward movement. She wants to go. And so our quick, our quick, <laughs> our minds, we're, we're fast paced. We're quick. We got to get there. We got to get there. She's pulling. She's pulling. So what do we do? Well, we still try to get there. We're coming up from the parking lot to the steps. She's pulling. Of course she's pulling because she's learned that pulling means going forward. She don't know where she's going. She don't know where we're going. She just knows she's going. Dogs don't really have a good sense of where we want to go. <laughs> they don't have a clue we're getting ready to go into the front door. They don't have a clue. <laughs> so what happens is uh, when a dog has got all four, what is this, like a four-footer, all four-foot leash right out in front, but we're going this way, we turn, and then it's leading four feet that way. We turn, she's leading four foot that way. So choke up on the leash a little bit more. Give her about half of what you have here, about two feet. 
walk around, do it in your house, in your kitchen, and just walk around. Don't forget, take left-hand turns, too. And praise her when she's doing right. Good girl. Good job, girl.